A rich mansion, we all want one, we all dream of one until reality hits and now you're living in a tiny shack with three dudes in a hot tub. And today, me, a Lego builder, is gonna design three homes out of Lego based on how much money what a person can spend. We're gonna build a cheap shack, a middle class house, and a big rich, each dude has their own hot tub, massive mansion at the end. Let's start off cheap with my future residence. <laughs> I decided to make multiple designs to give myself options. Firstly, we have a tent. Lego has made their own tent piece that uses cloth, but that's a new move to use, so I built an actual tent made of true Lego bricks and not fabric. And then I threw in a bed and added some nature outside the tent. We got a tree that's about to fall on the tent and this guy right here. Look at him. And now the first cheap house is done, except where are we going to use the bathroom? Okay, for number one, just do it behind a bush, and for number two, just dig a hole. Hey, yo! For the next design, I grabbed a bunch of thick, colorful bricks, awakened my inner five-year-old, and built this monstrosity. It's very clearly a Lego house and won't go for much on the market due to the lack of a door and lack of everything. Goodbye. Alright, for another cheap home design, let's build an actual functional house that someone could maybe live in. I started building one inspired by those extremely small home designs that you see in your YouTube recommended and can somehow fit a family of five. I used these designs as reference and first made an interior with a red bed, plant number one, plant number two, a bookshelf for those who read books, a table with a pizza, and a constipated homeowner that realized his new property has no bathroom. There's a bug on my build. Look at that guy. Finn. Then, I speed ran building the walls, which didn't take long considering the size of the house, and then added a door to the entryway that takes up most of the front wall, and finally threw in a roof that actually took a lot of brain power to design. And boom! The small house is now done. That guy looks like he's having a good time. Okay, now for the final, most realistic outcome, we have this. Nothing. Okay, we've successfully designed four small cheap home designs, and our bank account is still in the negatives. Okay, for the middle class house, I laid out a foundation, built a cobblestone pathway in the front, added landscaping trees, a tiny pond with a gator living in it, and Batman on a chair. Building a wall time. And while I construct these walls, I'm gonna tell you about everyone's favorite game, Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of this video. Raid Shadow Legends has conquered gaming, he plays it, she plays it, it plays it, that plays it, Spongebob plays it, your grammar probably plays it, be like her. But instead of me blabbering about how fun the game is, I wanna scare you, so let's look at the three scariest champions from the game out of 600. At number three, we have this angry looking wolf on steroids called Brian is the shifter. Number two, we have whatever this abomination is, he's called Gorl's Helma. And at number one, we have this creepy doll, Little Miss Annie, who looks like a piece of rotten broccoli. But that's not all, because just this month, a giant new fun feature called Awakening, a brand new dungeon, the Iron Twin Fortress, and an OP legendary version of the character Death Knight have all been added to the game. That's right, Raid has just released a super powered legendary version of everyone's favorite champion, Death Knight. Ultimate Death Knight can be attained for free by just logging in for seven days before the 27th of October. Additionally, if you use the promo code DKRISES, you get a bunch of free items to instantly level up your strongest champion all the way to level 50. And for some reason, if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen and you'll get $30 of unique bonuses all for free, an epic champion Ina, and a bunch of rewards. All of these treasures will be waiting for you right here, back to the video. After building the walls, I designed this stone pillar using a bunch of tiny pieces, and it took a ton of stacking but looked extremely good in the end, and pre-ordered me pain for when I have to take this apart. Then, I ripped off all of that to design an interior. I designed a living room with a white couch, a curved TV that someone sat on, a table with plants so that the residents can have oxygen, a bookshelf with a trophy on top, it's for participation, it's lame, and a dining table with chairs where PewDiePie, Spongebob, and Obi-Wan Kenobi are downing a burger. Then I built a small kitchen on the side with a fridge filled entirely with eggs for the protein, but what goes in must come out. So I made a bathroom in the middle of the kitchen. Yeah, there was no space, so while you're eating your Taco Bell, you're gonna have to stare at your future home a few feet away. Just don't multitask it. Okay, I laid out a platform for the second floor, but chopped my hopes and dreams in half, literally, and made half the second floor a bedroom. I used the same wall style as the first floor. Boys, so we doubled the size of the entire stone brick pillar thing. And then designed a bedroom with red carpet to make it formal, a double bed, a desk, a dresser, and a bookshelf. And as for the other half, I made this nice fingerprint attracting balcony using glass pieces, and included two lounge chairs for the boys in Lil Nas X. Okay, the medium-sized house is now done. The only issue is, we didn't include a staircase, so if you want to get to the second floor, you're gonna have to parkour up, like these guys right here. Now it's time for the massive dream house mansion. The first step is to grab a base much bigger than the medium sized house. This looks good. It made the small house look like a snack and was 4.5 times the size of the middle class house that made it look like a toddler. Now if I pull this off, it'll be my largest Lego creation ever, meaning we're gonna need some reinforcements. Time for a drop test. I grabbed one of my previous Lego builds and after retiring it, it from life, I started laying out the outline for the mansion. I made space to include a massive backyard, which we're gonna need to make the ultimate pool party. But I first designed the front of the house. I built a large cobblestone path and designed a water fountain because all the rich mansions in movies have one. And I dumped blue round pieces to represent water. And if you're a true YouTube prankster, you can even swim in it. Then I filled up the rest of the plate. 
added two palm trees and a bunch of other landscaping to make this entryway look awesome. Right, the entire front area is done. We got a car that pulled up and some figures. And now, let's start working on the house. But before that, I needed more reinforcements to make this house the ultimate dream house. So I will smith the small house and the medium house. And now, thanks to our painful sacrifice, we should have enough pieces to build the mansion. So I got designing on the inside of the first floor. I laid out space for a kitchen, an office slash gaming room, a bathroom so we don't have to poo in a hole, and a living room. For the kitchen, I built a fridge with a gym bro eating some very nutritious pre-workout, as well as an island countertop with Kevin the Minion chowing down on a footlong, and then I plopped in a toaster to make her bread and buns toasty, a working drink dispenser that spits out studs because if I was rich, I would want one of those, and then some final details onto the countertop to make it the ultimate dream kitchen. Next is the gaming room slash office, where I designed a gaming desk with a full-on streaming setup, lights, camera, gaming chair, triple monitors, and a bunch of gamers in the room. I also included some shelves with G Fuel cans because true gamers hate the taste of water and consume G Fuel 24-7. And then I threw in a stack of bread that the owner of the house cashed in from Dogecoin as a final touch. The next room in the first floor is a living room. I included this awesome couch design, a tall bookshelf reserved to only store Pokemon cards, and a TV stand with speakers plus the TV itself. Okay, the bathroom is now done. It looks awesome. We got everything. We got a dog. We got an Amazon box. What more would you want? Okay, now for the final room in the first floor, it's time for a bathroom. We went from no bathroom to a bathroom in a bush to a bathroom on a bed to a bathroom in the middle of a kitchen, but all of those stages have led to now where we're gonna make a legit bathroom. But first, I had to gather some important information. Hey Siri, how many toilets do rich people have? Okay, we got a bunch of responses here. Siri found these 18 rich people's bathrooms you wish you could poop in. Do rich people have golden toilets? I'm gonna read all of these and then get back to my decision. Many months later. After enlightening my mind, I included a shower module, a legendary toilet design, and a urinal because why not? We got a toilet with some coffee on top just in case you're tired, you're constipated, and you need to stay awake. I like to move it, move it. I started speeding through the walls and chose to build them in white, gray, and black because the definition of modern nowadays is plain, basic, and clean, and any expression of creativity is a hard no. Bruh. Alright, here's the front entrance way. We got a glass door and the entire thing looks super modern with all the colors And now let's build the back area. Let's go I used and bolted through the walls on the back and made this really cool wall design on the sides Where I used these bricks that have texture on both sides and arranged them like a chessboard All right, the back walls of the house are now done We got two double glass doors to exit your way out We got the two wall designs that were really hard to build Okay, then I laid out a platform for the second floor that's built like a pancake and this second floor absolutely bodies the first floor so Let's just hope it's sturdy enough. All right, I got to building the inside of the second floor where we're gonna have a master bedroom, a dining room, a kids room, and a movie theater because it's a staple of every YouTuber house tour. I started with the dining room because I forgot to make one in the first floor and we are not eating in the bathroom. I included a table, these awesome chair designs, and the council of elites having a meeting over sugar and carbohydrates. Next is the master bedroom, the home of the house's owner. I included a table, a personal ATM to keep track of all the dough, a boat that I turned into a bookshelf, that's something a rich person would have, a nightstand, and a big boy bed. I designed this massive bed right here inspired by the time I got stung by a bee. It literally fits a Minecraft iron golem. But a master bedroom isn't just a master bedroom. No, rich people also have giant walk-in closets to store thousands of dollars worth of clothing that they never wear. I used a ladder piece to design a clothing rack and threw in all the overpriced brands, Gucky, Louis Vuitton, Channel, Versace, Herpes, Redbox with white text, and Baylen Kiaga to make the ultimate rich walk-in closet. Walk-in closet is now done, meaning it's time to make the kid's bedroom. I made it very bright and poppy with yellow. I also whipped out the ketchup and mustard and made this awesome looking rug. And I decided to make it Minecraft theme by including in Minecraft beds, blocks, a zombie to scare the kids, it's a statue, don't worry, and then I threw in some other fun details and two Minecraft YouTubers to complete this absolute color fest of a room. Okay, the Minecraft themed bedroom is now done, it looks really good, so let's move on to this long room where we're gonna build a movie theater. I started designing the movie theater by adding in three rows of chairs and then flooded those with the static looking viewers. We got a full on movie theater audience and it looks awesome, we don't even gotta scream yet, they're just watching me place them. But to keep them happy, I threw in a working popcorn machine cart that pops the corn and keeps it warm. I'm copywriting that slogan. We got an amazing view for the boys right here. No. I chucked the card in the back and included some life-size replicas of characters as well as the ultimate nerd shelf in the back with the Spider-Man mask replica, a newborn who got scared of the movie, and some Star Wars boyos. And that's the movie theater. Comment down below what movies they should watch. And the entire second floor interior is now done. We got the bedroom. We got the eating room. We got the movie slash man cave slash whatever room. We got the kids room. We got the closet. We got everything. Let's move on. Okay, but there's an issue. We need to give the minifigures privacy because right now there are no walls. So I started designing some interior 
dividers, I made them extremely colorful like a kid's playground, and now it's time for phase two, the outside walls. I built the side, the other side, the back wall, and a super modern front wall with 90% glass, just like most modern buildings nowadays. One rock and it all shatters. Hey, the entire second floor is now done, or as I call it, the Eiffel Tower. I'm a wanted man in France, and we also got a cat on this balcony right here, and we got a charging port on the second floor, just in case if you need to juice up your phone a little bit. And now, let's attach it to the first floor. Peeing my pants from fright, I connected the two floors, and it worked. Okay, the two floors are now connected, and it looks awesome. We got the owner of the house chilling on the balcony with this cat. Now, let's give the house a roof, because it's still technically not a house without a roof over its head. Here's the layout of the roof, here's the far more beautiful backside, and here's me designing a very strange roof design. We pretty much built two walls that slant outwards, and then threw on two very part intensive panels to form this awesome, unique, modern roof shape that doesn't even look like it's made of Lego. But, there's this space in the middle, and we are not gonna let that go to waste. I want to turn that into the ultimate rooftop clubhouse. I built this long rooftop garden in the front, and then designed a Lego pool table. We got the boys getting into it. A dance floor with some professional dancers absolutely rocking out. And then a party table with all the necessities of a kid's birthday party. The pizza, the lemonade, the soda, the everything. Now, let's throw it onto the house. But before that, I realized that my single brain celled self never added a TV through the theater. So I popped that in and attached in the roof. Now it's time to build the ultimate pool party backyard. But before that, I built two plant beds on the side yards for more greenery and oxygen. Now we build the pool, the centerpiece of the backyard. Water time. Maybe a little more. Keep it going. Okay, I think it might be filled up now. I, I kind of ran out of my gallon. Then I laid out the rest of the backyard. I added a diving board to make it even more epic. Hey. Designed a custom, awesome looking barbecue to sizzle the meats. A bunch of other details and a replica hey. Lightning McQueen that the owner of the house puts on display. Okay, we've added a bunch of cool stuff, but now let's add some minifigures to absolutely deck out this backyard. As soon as people caught wind that there was going to be a brown chair at this party, everyone pulled up, and now we have the ultimate pool party. With food, fun, fanboying, risky stunts, what the heck is he doing up there? And people chilling out. And the same continued with the front of the house, a bunch of figures, an overpriced car, and a frat boy. Hey, what's up? It's Bryce. I run Tri Alpha Gamma Z and a Shut up! Brick. And that is the completed rich house. It's absolutely stacked with detail and the coolest of all the homes we built in the last 15 days. Okay, comment down below which one of these homes you would want to live in and subscribe and I'll literally move you in.